uh, welcome back everyone so let's talk about the array dot keys and array dot values method so both methods are giving us the iterate object or iterable object so what do you think about an object array object array is an object right so how actually the array object look like internally so from the above array it look like this 0 colon 6 1 colon 7 and 2 colon 8 right this is how the array works when we look array as an object so what are the keys keys are 0 1 2 values are 6 7 8 so we have already have object dot keys methods object dot entries I mean the capital O object I'm talking about capital O object function prototype methods these are and we use object dot keys object values object dot entry similarly in the array prototype there are two methods keys and values so object array dot keys will return an iterator so I can run the for of loop onto this or I of uh, just run the iterator on this so array dot keys or you can just call simply array dot keys and you can just get each and every array keys so what are the keys uh, you will get the the keys 0 1 2 3 4 these will be the keys and it is returning the iterable object so you need to run the for of loop which internally do the dot nets so forget about the for of index for now it is just running the for of loop onto the iterable object which we have received using array dot keys so when you do the array dot keys you will get this array iterator object and we are running on to that iterator object okay similarly we can do the array dot values in that case it is just going to return us the values console dot log value right so that is the only difference between the, the values and keys methods of array dot prototype okay similarly there is object dot keys methods are there object dot values and object dot entries so it also works in the same way object dot keys will give you the list of keys in, in an object so like if i have the object what i will get if i do object dot keys uh, just do object dot keys onto this you will get an array of key r x and y right similarly if you do object dot key object dot values then you will get an array of values which is 10 and 50 and whenever uh, so let's forget it's let's say values whenever you do the entries then you will get an array of key value pairs so most probably it will be like this x10 y50 okay key value pair when you do the entry so that was about the object we have already talked about the function function dot prototype array dot prototype dot keys array dot prototype dot values okay that's it thanks everyone